This is part two of the rigid body dynamics with motion capture. We set up the dynamics of a coffee table breaking in our last video. Now let's load in the motion capture. Append the motion capture. In my case, I will bring in the whole collection. Spend some time organizing. Select the armature of the characters and clear the keys for location and rotation. This will allow us to reposition the character. I'm going to slide my characters and cameras to the right so that the character being thrown will slam onto the coffee table. Moving the camera with the characters will allow me to maintain my camera viewpoint. I already have a geometry block for the ground plane, so I'm deleting the plane geometry. I'll scale the ground block up to make sure it encompasses everything. Select the character being thrown in the air. Apply a rigid body dynamic to it and set the type to passive. Set shape to mesh and check deforming. If you play the simulation, you'll see that the character did not work on the rigid body table. This is because the deforming mesh can't activate the table pieces with the Start Deactivated option. If you have Start Deactivated unchecked, the simulation will work. However, the table will start to collapse before the character hits it. I've submitted a bug report on this issue and it's been verified. For now, we need to trigger the table with a separate sphere. Create a sphere mesh as our trigger. Keyframe the movement of the ball with the body as it hits the table. Apply a rigid body to the sphere and set the type to active and check animated. The sphere is now triggering the table to collapse but we need to move the sphere further away so that it collapses at the right time. This is likely part of the same bug, but we need to factor in potential bugs in any projects. This looks good. The mocap was captured at 60 frames per second. Adjust the frame rate to see the motion correctly. The simulation stops short because we need to extend the simulation cache range. Go to Scene Properties, Rigid Body World, and set the end range to the full range of the animation. Now we'll hide the trigger sphere from the viewport and render. The wooden pieces flying apart feels a little too light. We will increase the mass to make it heavier. Select the broken pieces from the table and change the mass to a heavier number. Make sure to hold down Alt before you press Enter to apply your changes to all the selection. 
play the simulation again. You'll see that the pieces are flying away with more weight and looks more appropriate. This looks good. Remember to save your file. Before we can render this animation, we need to bake out the rigid body dynamics. Go to Scene, Properties, Rigid Body, World, Cache, and click on the Bake button. You will notice that the coffee table with the many cell fracture pieces show the seams of the crack. To correct this, we will make these pieces invisible until the moment of impact. Go to the keyframe just before the impact and set the animation keys for the broken table pieces visibility. You want to make it invisible, then visible on impact. We will do the opposite for the visibility of the original non-table components. Once you are done, render your animation. After you render your animation, you should get something like this. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, I would appreciate a like and a sub. Until next time.